The Guardian filed a lawsuit trying to stop this from airing, and it still aired as scheduled on Lifetime. Who is the driving force behind this guardianship and why did they want to stop this documentary? That's a question we don't fully know because all of the court proceedings are completely, you know, um, kept dark and away from public view. Um, so the only person we know is that, you know, who the guardian is and they act, you know, on behalf of the courts, you know, the, the, the courts in New York State determine, you know, who is the guardian and the level, you know, of the care, whether it's financial or whether it's medical. It's no secret that there have been random people around you getting money, getting paid, whatever the case may be. Stealing money from me. This is the reality of what the world famous Wendy Williams life was under a guardianship in New York City. She was for the most part alone in her apartment without constant care. And you see the people that were around her, you know, and who all honestly had good hearts, have good hearts. And, and I don't question that their intentions for Wendy, you know, uh, are, you know, positive, but they were also very overwhelmed and confused by the situation that they were put into. Do you think that they were taking advantage of Wendy? Because let me just say this, you say good hearts, but a person with a good heart would say, I've got to get you as much help as I can get you. I can't walk in your apartment and see a vodka bottle. I can't be out with you and let you drink. Do you think they have her best interests at heart? It's interesting that that's the reality of a guardianship, right? Like you don't always have the information. And so this is the reality of a time span, you know, in which Wendy was under a guardian's care in New York. And this is the truth of what happened. And we know it's not easy for a lot of people to watch, but once we were in it, we felt like we were more scared about what would happen if we stopped filming than if we continued. Kevin, any of you take one marker? How do you feel about this documentary? Well, I've never met someone who's been on camera, so being in this has never been my thing. Um, but I feel like the whole idea of what this is supposed to be about is supposed to be about her getting better. We spent a lot of time with the family and it really was important to, um, you know, understand their point of view and their concerns and as they learned along the way as well, you know, because they, um, they also hadn't been spending a lot of time with Wendy. And so I think it was quite eye-opening. Did the family have any say in this? Very much so. Uh, you know, it's interesting because we, it was our understanding that we would start with the family, but mm -hmm. it took us a little time to make them comfortable. So it was several months into filming that we finally started having conversations with the family and the family was then able to reveal their side of the story, which made it even more important for us to keep filming so that we could continue to explore all the questions that they were raising. I'm going to be doing such fun things on my new TV show. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to have, um, you know, I don't want to just write it because it will get off. You know what I'm saying? So I have like a paint thing. Yeah, it's to paint. OK. In the documentary, it was revealed that she has dementia and that she is really struggling with it. What did you see while you were shooting? I think it was confusing for all of us because Wendy would have moments of clarity where she seemed fine, like like the old Wendy we knew. And then there were times when she was completely a different person. And we were asking all of these questions from the very beginning, what's really going on? We saw this on TV, kind of her erosion of her memory and her struggles. I'm a little confused when you say, well, some days were good days. We weren't really sure what it was, whether it was drinking or dementia. You know, there were some good days and where she was, you know, all there, you know what it's like when someone's there. And then other days when um, she wasn't as clear, we discovered, you know, she was drinking. I, we were concerned she wasn't safe, to be honest. And, um, and I think that's one of the reasons we stayed.